Everyone recently is asking, should I put my PlayStation vertical or should I lay it down horizontal? Coming from a guy that all he does is repair PlayStation 5s, I'm gonna tell. Let's demystify this bullshit. <laughs> this is not the best example, but there is uh, liquid metal goo here and thermal paste. Now check this out. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Nothing really happens. Here, check this out. If and only if I give it a tap, then it starts to fall. What do you call that? We call that surface tension, kids. The surface tension of gallium is 70. And of course, water and other materials are much, much. Now, liquid gallium does not evaporate. Now, check it out. You see, the dye is so smooth, and that's laser cut. When it sits on top, it creates an airtight 100% seat. And what would be squeezed in the middle, something so thin, a size of an atom. And the surface tension on the atoms from both sides will not make it fall. Here, I opened up uh, one for a better example. This is just liquid metal, nothing else. You see? Shaking, shaking, shaking. Nothing falls from shaking. It's, it's, there's a lot of surface tension. It's, it's if I hit it, and I don't want to hit a good working. And the other dumb thing that they were talking about is that the liquid metal was seeping through. Um, there is a glue seal here, and the guy was just playing around with a fucking tweezer and making it seep through. So whether you put it vertically or horizontally, it doesn't matter when it comes to the liquid metal. However, it does matter when it comes to the CD-ROM drive. I put it horizontally and I flip it upside down because I don't want it to be sitting on the CD-ROM drive because it's a little flimsy.